All right, everybody, Dave here. Well, we survived the big storm, and uh, not too bad. We got some limbs down and stuff. Uh, we had a good bit of rain. Um, I guess the wind came up pretty good along about two or three miles from here. A lot of stuff all blown over, you know, sticks and stuff like that, but nothing big. <laughs> Obviously, it is Friday now, and uh, we'll, we'll be definitely doing some cooking sometime. But I'm work, still working on a project that I, I started on a while back. I just never did finish. And we're going to take this uh, cheap old uh, northern tool hatchet and turn it into something that kind of looks like a old Viking type of a, you know event. So I'm going to carve out this little uh, section right here. Then we're going to break out the grinder and uh, let's see if we can't make this thing over the next uh, few days look like something uh, that's a few hundred years old. So y'all hang with me. All oh, right, been working on this uh, hatch a little bit, kind of transforming it into some uh, antique looking thing. I guess some people might call it a Viking axe or an Anglo Saxon axe or something. But uh, it's pretty early in the morning, and I'm going to get out here and do a little bit before it gets uh, so horrible hot you can't stand it. It's supposed to get up about 95. So we'll get our outside stuff done as quick as we can. You'll definitely see here why it's always a good idea when you're operating tools like this, uh, these grinders and stuff, to wear safety glasses. Uh, sometimes these uh, cutting wheels have uh, imperfections or hit bumps on the material you're working and it'll break. So you definitely want to wear uh, face protection, eye protection. Well, I'm going to take a brief look here at the uh, garden. Uh, the combination of hot and wet definitely. Uh, is uh, loved by gardens everywhere. It's when it's hot and dry that uh, the gardens struggle, but uh, this thing has uh, really popped the growth into a new uh, new gear here. And you can see lima beans, crowder peas, and uh, all the fruit trees and the grapevines. And of course the tomatoes, uh, well, they're getting near the end. I didn't buy, buy many of the uh, old heirloom varieties this year, mostly the uh, hybrid so they're going to pop out one big crop which they have and uh then start slowing down but really looked uh been a pretty good garden year for most things uh, some of the stuff struggled a bit uh cucumbers uh squash all in all it's been a pretty, pretty good year kind of messing around with this thing for a little bit it got kind of warm so we had to put it in the water because we don't want to lose the temper on it but it is just uh horrible hot out here so we're gonna get out of this here shed and uh go find us something cold to drink and then we'll come back out here in a little bit and work on some more here's a neat little thing that we used to do with these cans back when i was a kid back in the 60s and 70s you gonna make a little like a tea slit in the can with your knife and kind of open up the wings so to speak and you can put a little candle in there and then you take the uh, tab and bend it up like this and you know hang it from uh, a pole or uh, a rope or something like that you know you can put it in your tent or just outside you can even put like uh, those mosquito repellent uh, what do you call it uh, candles in there and tea lights work good in there and actually it'll raise the temperature up a little bit in your tent so so. see here's a little can i cut like a little tea i guess almost an eye really and open up the wings and like i said you can put like a tea light in there you can get those little uh um candles that kind of throw off that scent to uh, drive mosquitoes away but this is kind of like a candle wax and you know kind of shows you how you can uh, fit it in there and uh and like I say, you can just uh, hang your, uh, bang your little uh, opener thing here up here. You can hang it from someplace. And just, uh, I don't know who came up with this or anything like that, but we used to do it when we were kids back in the uh, 60s and everything like that. 
but just a neat little thing. Kind of like those PVC hacks. It causes a soda can hack. As you can see, it's just, uh, I got it hanging from uh, one of these little uh, clamps in the uh, shed. And you can see just how it would work. You can put your little candle in there. And you want to thread your uh, string through uh, both holes. That way it kind of holds it steady. And then light, light your candle. And then, like I said, mosquito type stuff or tea lights or anything. And it'll actually raise the temperature up during the winter time when I mean, you got two or three of these of uh, these things running and uh pretty cool all right we're gonna do do us a little uh stick stove breakfast here nothing extravagant just uh, some sausages and stuff and uh it's just so hot out here that uh we won't spend a whole lot of time out here goofing off we'll uh, get some other stuff done a little later on when the uh it cools down. It's a bit breezy, but I mean, it's this hot and the humidity is matching it in the upper 90s, middle 90s. It's not a whole lot of fun. So Every single day it reminds me, yes, when we retire, we want to move to someplace cooler. Someplace that has a longer winter period. These stick stoves will boil water in a quick heartbeat. You can already see the water start to fizz up. It's only been on about 30 seconds. Yeah, just cooking some of these already cooked sausages. The stick stove was flat doing it, man. Water came to just shy of a boil and we threw these sticks up uh, sausages in there and, and uh, won't take long oh yeah cooking up nice now getting a nice boil on it not but sticks just little tiny debris that you could pick up right off the uh, ground anywhere anytime you put leaves in there or gumballs any little bits of you know scrap organic material wood and of course these already cooked sausage then all you do is need to be uh warmed up or heated up a little bit and you got yourself a nice little breakfast all right snizzling up pretty good guys smells good This setup here do really good on uh, eggs, uh, bacon. And as you can see, it'll boil water in a couple minutes. It's like the old uh, pocket rocket for the gas. And we got ourselves a nice boiler now. We take take long. Yeah, you can pick up these uh, six toes for a oh, while, I don't know, 20 bucks or less. Right on Amazon. Let the uh, fire die down, let the water kind of evaporate a little bit, and we'll have ourselves a breakfast. Yeah, this is in the way of reminding everybody, uh, this coming Wednesday, 6 p.m., we'll do another uh, live time thing. Um, everybody's invited. Meet and greet. Y'all don't know each other. You introduce yourselves, subscribe, like, comment, share. Just help uh, grow each other's channels and get to know each other better. You can see how that uh, reburn chamber inside these uh, six stoves works. It kind of reignites the, uh, the gases, so to speak, from the already burnt material. And, uh, it will flat produce uh, the heat. You just uh, imagine being out there, just about anywhere. Just have to walk around, pick up a few sticks, and whatever, and off you go. 
As you can see, the temperature's starting to kind of come down, and the water level's coming down. The sausages are clumping up. No grease, no nothing, no butter, no nothing. Just... There we go. Starting to slow down now, but I can assure you them sausages are nice and hot. Almost bon appetit time. I have found that once you load these little stick stoves up, you know, pack them up pretty good with uh, some dry, smaller material. Yeah, you get about five minutes worth of uh, cook time. Of course, you gotta get a little ad hole here. So, you just need to be careful when you stick your fingers in there. So you don't burn yourself. Of course, you could use a pair of pliers or, or your knife or anything like that to help put things in. For some of the kind of little camping hacks that once you've been doing this for a while, you start seeing, oh, okay, I could use this. All right, I'd say we're just about done. Oh, yeah, we're ready. Sausage, anyone? All right, I'll bring y'all back in a little while. Let me uh, eat this while this is hot. Yep, right on the spot, man. Outstanding. As you can hear, the birds are quite active. I'm sure they're happy that uh, all the trees didn't get blown over this uh, last storm. Y'all take care.